Ladies and gentlemen, it's breaking news time. I can exclusively reveal that at 3.08 this afternoon, Scabby Kajagugu, as the tree <laughs> called her, walked out of the Big Brother house. <sighs> We've got our first BB11 walker, everybody. Come Yay! on. Yeah. Shabby will be here live to, on the show to tell us her reasons behind her departure and exactly what she thinks of her fellow housemates. And I can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, I need to get a, uh, am I going to have to give this back then? Yes. Welcome to BBLB. It's day 27 and the time is 6.02. It's finally happened. Shabby has walked out of the Big Brother house. Oh, oh Shabby. Uh, in just a moment, Shabby will be joining us live to give us her first TV interview and you can get involved in today's poll. Should Shabby have walked? Have your say online right now. Also coming up, we are joined by BB Obsessive and Ify's biggest fan, Paul Ross, everybody, plus the man who guards the gate, the Hawks Hell Special Forces veteran, Michael Hawk down, leave no man alive. Huck. Um, he'll, be, uh, he'll be giving us the intel on topic our best. Uh, but back to the main news of the day, shabby shock departure. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking it it could have been Ben that might have walked off last night's show. Uh, but yesterday, it all kicked off in the house. The argument started when half of the house won a party, whilst the rest were locked in the bedroom. Here's the moment when shabby decided to leave. Oh, I'm actually really embarrassed. I'm... Oh, I think you're cringing. Cringing. <laughs> you keep doing what you're doing. You're a fantastic little character. Do you know what I mean? You've made it. I don't want to talk to you. Nothing... That do, you, just... Kiva, do you understand that I don't want to talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> Off, eh? Back on my bed, Benny boy. You're gonna cop it. Yeah. Uh, Nathan yeah. looks well. Were that worth even smashing your bedroom? Up? You say we smashed Steve's stuff. Didn't say we smashed up anything. You, you, Nathan, you, you did. You said you smashed. We smashed his stuff. Excuse bits. me, Shabby. You, all, all his stuff was all over all his thing. I didn't say you smashed anything. The basem, you said. Hold that. on, hold on. I didn't mean to cause anything. Look at you getting all out of here. Told you I'm not letting bring me down to this place. No. Kiva needs to get out of the dining room. I need to leave it, and I need to leave it now. She was in the house for 27 days, 15 hours and 10 minutes. Joining us now, fresh from walking out of BB11, is Shelby, everybody! <laughs> Do an interview. Keep it down. How are you? I am spinning out. Really? Yeah. Why did you feel the need to walk, my love? So many reasons. A multi-layered onion of reasons, really. Right, okay. Talk, uh, unpeel one layer of the <laughs> onion for us. One layer being that some of the people in there were getting right on my nerves. Uh, one Is being... anybody crying yet? <laughs> <laughs> one that uh, I thought maybe Kiva might be a bit better off if I stopped lusting after her and just got out of the way, really, because I uh, thought she fancied me. Aww. Beginning to think she didn't. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, what's it like being out, though, now? You've been out for a few hours. Are you regretting it yet? Do you think you will regret it? I don't know. It's very difficult to say, really. I probably will have, you know, regrets about leaving, but you... it just... My time was up, you know? Um, but, yeah. But your time wasn't up. You made your time up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no you answers could have been in that. there. You could have been in there for weeks. I don't think so. I think Friday night eviction. Okay. See I you think later. Be quite right, shabby. You think you you jumped before you were pushing? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Right, okay. Well, no, no, I don't know. I so many reasons. I was I was I, I was starting to cry. I don't I don't really do crying, man. I, I was sad. What was the hardest thing about being in the house? Was it your relationship with Kiva? That was hard. Yeah, that was really hard because I, you know, if you have an issue with a girl and you, you know, you like her, she doesn't like you back. You go talk to your best friend about it. Unfortunately for me, she was, she your was best my friend. best friend. Oh. Yeah. Catch twenty two, you say? Catch twenty two. Yeah. I'm not talking about a terrible film with Gene Hackman from the eighties. <laughs> uh, Shabby, would you like us to remind you of your relationship with Kiva? <laughs> let's. Let's just do it. Your face is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> I love how she's just, she's completely mad. I love that about her. I really like Kiva a lot. Please tell her. 
Shabby has something that she wants to talk to you about. If he does not call, man, that's not cool. I really like you. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. like you too. No, I really like you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm not laughing, Tony. I'm just really awkward. I want to spend all my time with her, but I don't fancy her. I do feel sorry for Shabs because it must be really bad to be locked in a house with somebody you feel so strongly about like that. I am literally a love-struck fool. <laughs> I am falling in love with this girl. Do you think the feelings are mutual? I think... I do think there is a little something going on there. I do. OK, well, you've got to be careful, babes. You don't want to yeah. come across like you're leading someone on. <laughs> Either she really likes me and doesn't want to admit it, or she is taking me for a fool. I don't know what's happened to you. You used to be such a nice person. Lesbians have feelings too. Thank you very much, Shabby. Thank you. You are now free to leave the Big Brother house by the door to your right. Thanks. I'm embarrassing. Oh, I've got oh, tears! Tears in Emma's these crying. eyes! It's those onions! Oh. It's those onions! How it is those onions. How Don't do you be feel embarrassed. watching that, my love? She's lovely, isn't she? She is lovely. I can't believe she didn't fancy me. Did, did anybody know that? I can't believe that? she didn't fancy you. Think, you I think, thought she did. You, she did a little Shabby. bit. Shabby. I need Come to get on. my head out of my own bum. Um, no, she, she did say that she wasn't interested, but do you think maybe she might have led you on a little bit? She said she fancied me once. <laughs> times when when she said you know I, yeah you know I have kind of gone there with girls and I think that would you know suggest surely that suggest that maybe there might be a chance for you if she didn't have a boyfriend and... yeah but there were you know she loves she loves a boyfriend and I've got to respect that I don't want to be a home well, yeah, no, a bit absolutely. late for respecting that really isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> a good few well, weeks no, not respecting that I don't I don't think you really took it too far she was the one nuzzling you did, she did kissed you... me on my neck oh. <laughs> do, you think, do you think she's gonna follow you out the house do you think she's gonna come on out no after you? no I think she'll stay and I think that's the right decision she should at least give it a few more days she might actually like it better without me following her around like an idiot. Oh. Hey. Maybe she'll come out of her shell a bit more, cos she has been She has quite been quiet. quite quiet. Uh, now, Shabby, what were all these tantrums about? I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. She was do, you want, do you want me to kick off? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what? We've, we've got enough footage of you kicking off. Have a look at this. Oh. What are you doing with Kiva? I'm going to kick off. I don't understand. Here, I I'll... don't. But I have a temper problem, as I explained to you, yes? About the f hat. Oh, for God's sake. This place! <laughs> I hope that you're very, very pleased with yourselves. <laughs> oh, shabby. Look how you've got them all reacting. Um, now, is this something that only happens in the Big Brother house, or does this happen to you in the outside world as well? Well, my friends gave me a bit of advice that if I did get in, uh, that I should breathe in for four and out for seven. Um, <laughs> should have remembered that while I was in there. I only remembered that when I came out. Um, I don't, no, it's not so bad in the outside world. It is the pressure cooker environment in there. I've never... I scared myself sometimes in hey, there. Did you see a side of shabby that you didn't even want to see? A side of shabby I thought might be lurking, but really far down, and then it... Who wound you up the most in there? Loads of people, loads of people. If you're asking me today, then it would be Nathan. If it was yesterday, I don't know, it was a different person every pretty day. Much, yeah, pretty much everyone across the board there. Yeah. Um, how do you think you are perceived by your fellow housemates? Um, if you're about to show me, I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I hope they realise that... For all of my bad qualities, I, I, I don't think I'm a malicious person and I, I don't think I was a cruel person. I just can't stop kicking off. You were just quite outspoken, mm. I think, and, that, and that's not a bad thing, cos it makes you a good housemate. Yeah. <laughs> you were a great housemate. You were a great housemate. Stop it. Who would you, uh, who would you have nominated had you stayed in this week? Uh, I was going to nominate Nathan. Right. Controversial choice, because maybe? Of the, because of the row, I assume. Uh, I just... I, I'm, I'm seeing something in Nathan that I don't think anybody else is seeing yet. His little remarks, he's a passive-aggressive type who 
you know, I I think you're going to see a lot more from Nathan. All right, so we got it. Nathan, we don't like. Who else? Uh, my other nomination, I didn't actually decide because I was going to throw my nominations anyway. I was I was going to refuse to nominate. Oh! oh. Shabby was stayed in, Shabby. Oh. Huh? Who do you think is going to win, ultimately? Um, I... I'm torn between who I think should win and who I'd like to win. Well, give I think, us both. I think Steve should win because I think it will mean more to him than to anybody else. And, you know, I really... Yeah, he deserves it. For what he's done, he deserves it. Yeah. Um, on a completely different level, <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but I'd quite like Ben to win. Yeah. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird because we haven't got on and stuff, but nobody like Ben has won. Big he's brother. an entertaining guy to watch. He's well. in that case. I, he's, I, I wish I'd got to know him earlier. 